To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from... I'm going to ask you again, what exactly is a gong? Is it just a knock from outside, or is this some veiled complaint about the way I'm reading this? Actually, I was thinking maybe you could emphasize the word very. A very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. Yes, and if I do that, I'm barely going to have any time for the rest of this script. You people still don't know what I'm up against. You have no idea how tough this script is to read, much less listen to in a, in a text-to-speech software that that these children on this internet are suddenly so interested in making use of. I already told you that the right reading for this shit is the one I'm giving it. I wouldn't even be reading this if I didn't need the money. Here in the protest is take three of the Grand Rick and Morty copy pasta. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Nalnaya Voya literature, for instance. The fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depth of these jokes, to realize they're not just funny, that they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. Of course, they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, the human Rick's existential catchphrase, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons. Cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic. <sighs> Is something wrong, Mr. Wells? If I had to explain to you what was wrong with the script, I would need more time than I've spent filming any and every commercial I've ever done. Where did you get this tripe, anyway? Who wrote this? Fine.